خاصكم حل جري وان حل حرة وان جري أنا كان حل حرة كونتني في سكودة هي البقل قريب العجلة بعدين كنا كهلا حدا نويب بيح إله بهم هذا إسكلة وح كتب بدن جوذر بهلا ده أو يعني ده نجا جرا أو عاصن نجا جرا أو قلي ده نجا ريقة وح كتب بدن دب كتب بدن ما هاستو دب كتلو أنك عبنا إنه حبي بي ونوير بيري ومحل دجري بيتان كل سافي آن هن أش آن هن أونلي يابن محل دجري وهي الأورة وسكب عبي. This project in collaboration with the Kenya Road Cross Society was initiated from the disaster risk management perspective. With view of the climate change adaptation, uh, there are always risks uh, re reoccurring and affect the communities. If really we can promote the climate smart uh, agriculture or climate re resilience agriculture uh, here, so that we can learn. Once we learn something, if that can also be duplicated in other parts of the Igad region. What we have uh, observed is that uh, the farmers uh, particularly the, the majority of the women-headed uh, households, which I'm quite happy. Primarily they are uh, pastoralists. From what I've learned is that they are also willing to do some sedentary farming. It's good, it's very encouraging that they are willing, the farmers are willing to adapt and to do something in climate smart agriculture. And this is what we have uh, learned. So from here, we've learned as well uh, that um, other countries can also learn from here so that do something in their own context, not necessarily similar like this one, but in, from the perspective and view of uh, climate smart agriculture. We conducted a monitoring visit to the Climate Smart Agriculture Project. Uh, we're implementing in partnership with IGAD funded through the World Bank. And this project is all about um, having communities adapt to climate change. We selected Garissa as a county whereby we're entering, specifically Kulan in Dadab uh, sub-county. This is an area that is uh, heavily impacted by drought. And as Kenya Red Coast, we've been working in this particular uh, region to try and promote um, food insecurity. We supported the community first uh, with water supply through uh, drilling of a borehole, and then from there on we looked at establishing around eight farms. In those farms we tried to adopt a, a water efficient method of irrigating and we looked at um, drip irrigation. So therefore using water resources efficiently is one way of adapting to climate change. The community has been growing vegetables, you could see tomatoes, capsicum, uh, okra, and also the community have been growing fruits like um, watermelon, and they're also doing fruit trees. What we are moving into is moving from away from reactive to proactive. We are moving to giving farmers what is sustainable. That shows that even if we face out as Kenya Red Cross, the farmers are able to sustain uh, the projects on their own. We, uh, we form the cooperative management groups that will also be able to contribute to the account and also to continue the project. We also have trained the 21 TOTs. These are the people who will do the extension even after the, uh, the Kenya Red Cross have uh, pulled out and the projects will be sustainable. This project of Red Cross is really helping us. Because before, when the dams get dry, we used to wait the, until the rainy season come. But now if you see it, we are in dry season and yet we are, far, we are planting our farms. Whatever we get out as a cooperative here, whatever we save, we will buy it seeds for planting again and we are thankful to the Red Cross Kenya. <laughs>